Randy Feltis. He always brings the fish. Thank you. Thank you very much. Including the gloves. I've got the gloves today, Tracy. I'm really scared that you have those gloves. A little on. nervous. We're going to get dirty today. Oh, great. We always get dirty. We get when dirty. You're on. I forgot your apron again. Remember what happened Oops. last time? That's so okay. This dress is less expensive and it's got patterns on it. Yeah, so no one will ever know. We're not even going to notice. I love it. So we're doing um, halibut. A lot of people do halibut. love fish in the summer months. It's yes. light. Um, it's good for you. Yes. It's not really hard to prepare. How about it's in season? It's in season. It's in season. We should always eat things when they're in season. That's right. They are the freshest. They are the best. They taste really good. And sustainable. Right? And sustainable. Okay. All so this is Canadian things. halibut from the Pacific. And I just want to show everybody what one of these looks like when they come out of the ocean. <laughs> so what we got here. I didn't know he was bringing a whole. This is kind of a small one, to be honest halibut. with you. Right? Oh, my god. And if you gosh. take a look, this is the dark side. So they like to bury down into the into the, the seabed. It doesn't even smell that bad. It smells like the ocean. It should. Yeah. But it shouldn't smell fishy. But you know what's so interesting about this? You that... look at it on your plate, and you're not thinking that that's it. Well, that's why we it's, brought it in today, it's right? Huge. Now, if you take a look at the other side, they're white. So if they're right. if they're actually swimming up above and there's a predator down below, they look up and it looks like the ocean, top of the ocean. That's they smart. look down below, they kind of like camouflage into the bottom of the ocean. Oh, that's smart. Isn't that great? So that's a small fish. one. That's only about 20 pounds, 30 pounds. What they can get up to, believe it or not, is 300 kilos, almost 700 pounds. Unbelievable. So when somebody said, I caught a fish this big, that dude wasn't lying. They mean it. You know what I mean? They mean it. So we are talking very fresh, because I don't know, you probably caught that this morning. Yeah, I got that this and morning. brought it yeah. here. No doubt. <laughs> now we're going to prepare it. We're going to prepare it. So then basically after the, the army of chefs gets through with it, we just bring it down to this. And it's a flat Maybe. fish. There's only bones in the middle, so you basically just fillet one side and away you go. Okay. All right. So we are ready to go with our uh, amazing piece of fish. You know, the thing that makes people a little bit scared of fish, I think, is yeah. because they want to make sure it's cooked properly. Yes. But you don't want to burn the fish. Overcooking fish is a problem. It's a real problem. Right. Like a lot of people don't want the undercooked fish. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of sushi. I don't mind raw fish from time to time. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people get a little squirmy about that. I prefer the undercooked fish. I know, most but people medium do. medium rare, believe it or not, in nice restaurants, you should actually order your fish medium rare, and you should just cook it to temperature, right to the middle, yeah. and it should be a little translucent in the middle. Okay. Tracy, you know you know, always do the salt and pepper for me? That's my job. This is also very important. Just a little bit of salt, a little Ooh, bit of I pepper. I a lot of pepper on. That's allowed. I like pepper. Okay. Remember, like if heat. you always season higher, it sprinkle out and kind of like go a little bit more gradual. You're trying to say I did it wrong. I'm not saying that at all. Oh, I got I that. didn't say that. We've got You're some hot olive black. oil here, and okay. all we're going to do is a nub of butter. And the reason I'm doing this in a not a non-stick pan is I actually want you to see this at home and what we're going to do. Just lay it down, mm -hmm. flesh side down. Very nice. Okay. Now, when and you see... a hot see, pan, by the way, Hot folks. pan. you got to have a bit Don't of smoke in there. When you see the butter kind of going nutty brown and kind of golden, that's when we're going to flip. Then all we're going to do is place it into the oven, and it should only be about six minutes per inch. So this is just over an inch, so maybe six minutes in the oven and let it rest. Okay, so now, we did this, we flipped it over, you put it in the oven, and then it's gonna rest. Then we're good to go. Yeah. Okay, but what we need now is a side. Are you gonna make me cut something? Yes. Oh, man. Tracy. I did this last week, it went terribly. No, no, you did a great job last week. No, not with you, great job. with another chef. Oh, see, we always get along okay. so well together. <laughs> <laughs> All I did here. Oh, this is going much better. Real simple is yeah. I grilled up some veggies. Nice and simple, olive oil, salt, pepper, okay. nice and fresh. I got some red peppers. Some corn is coming into season, but you know, this is the US stuff, but as soon as I see the corn, I have to buy it because I just can't wait because any it's, longer. Because it's fresh and it's good. Exactly. And it'll be even fresher. When's our corn in season? Uh, about three weeks, I would imagine. Okay, you know, all right. You can wait. Maybe you know, this stuff isn't this bad for the, for the meantime, right? Actually, we could actually pretend this is our corn because by the time this airs it'll be in season. Oh the corn's in season right yeah, now. Yeah there you go. Good old Ontario. A little corn. bit of a uh, that's Ontario asparagus Do you want by that the way. Thing in here? Yeah, I was, I was, you were going to put the corn down and then kind of work on it that way, but oh, you kind of got your own thing going on, so I, I'm okay I with do. that. Can I put a little bit more corn in? Because I enjoy this experience, for sure. quite frankly. See? I like this. She's got a good technique, do doesn't she? I do. A little bit of green onion. Screw that up. That'll just give the, the salsa a little bit of a nice texture. Oh, okay. we're making a salsa. Do you, remember what, a salsa. do you remember what I was talking about, the nut brown butter? Yeah, we had to get in it. there and take a look. The, the pan's just going a little bit golden on me. Okay. Always flip away from you. It'll save your dress. See, and that, <laughs> that's perfect. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> that is it's absolutely gorgeous. It's not too gorgeous. charred. It's just a little brown. And now what we're doing is we're just going to crisp up the skin. It's going to kind of do this a little bit. Fire that into the oven for about six minutes. Okay. All right? We're going to finish this baby right off on, on the stovetop, though. 
I've got a little bit of basil, a little bit of cilantro. Yum. I'll throw that in. Do you want to give me some salt and pepper in there, Tracy? Give you it a little it. mix. And then I'm going to try, look at how high. The Beautiful. See, it just spreads that. out magically. Yep, way Ma up here. See, I think you got mm -hmm. a piece of pepper on every single corn kernel. That was my, that was my goal. Same with the olive oil. Now, what this needs is one final thing. We just need a little bit of acid for the salsa. Right. A little bit of lemon juice yeah. will do the trick. Yeah. Protect your eyes there, juice. Tracy. A little we'll lime juice, a little bit higher in acidity. Juice. Right? Now, Tracy, I'm mixing Tracy. it with a knife, but whatever. Give me a nice dollop right resourceful. in the middle. Yeah? That looks controlled. Yeah? Very nice touch, yes. Not bad. Absolutely. I've got a finished halibut here, right on top. Oh, and then just as beauty. a nice little garnish, you know, we're growing our own sprouts at the restaurant now. That's very so, easy. Can we slice bit. up that halibut and give everyone in the audience a piece? Absolutely. That's what I came Did here today for. you bring your big purses? You can take home a piece of halibut? <laughs> Perhaps? Beautiful Ooh, recipe sprouts. on our website, cityline.ca. The one and only Chef Randy Feltis, everyone. Good job. Thank you. Good. That looks nice. Good morning.